Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, two Syrahs in front of me, um, and neither of them says Syrah on the label. Actually, one of them has got a mixture of Syrah and Carignan. Uh, I'm not sure how much Carignan it is, uh, but um, they're both French, uh, one from the Rhone, one from the Languedoc. But we're starting in the Rhone uh, with Vidal Fleury 2012 Croze Hermitage. Uh, now, for Croze Hermitage, you are allowed to put uh, uh, some white grapes in them. You're allowed to put a little bit of Marcel and Roussel, but I don't know anyone who does. So uh, this will be 100% syrup. Smells youthful and crunchy. Uh, a little bit, ever so slightly baked character here of, um, a, a, as if some of the grapes have got that little bit of, uh, uh, of sunburn about them and uh, or have been picked up a little bit late. Uh, but um, it, it, it's funny, Crow's Overtouch can be a very nice aromatic peppery style. Here it feels more new worldy, I'd say, than, uh, uh, than, than Romy. Uh, I get, um, I, yeah, I don't get too much of the aroni fragrance coming through. Uh, by that I mean the, the, those bits of spice, the bits of pepper, the bits of grin, grilled meat. Instead I get this, um, yeah, quite bold berry. Doesn't feel like it's going to be a big wine, but um, it's, it's quite um, expansive flavours or aromas. And then when you come to taste it, that's when those, um, the peppery finesse kicks in. So there's a juicy part of it. Um, and uh, so that, that's the, you know, on the uh, red berries, dark berries, and other, as I was saying, that some of those uh, slightly baked berries are both hues. Um, but then there's also this uh, bit of vanilla, uh, a little bit of pepper, and something more exotic, a little bit like sandalwood in there. Um, I'm tasting it, um, I mean 2012 was a pretty good vintage uh, throughout the Rhone. And it may just be that it's almost a little, little bit on the young side and it needs to come out of its shell. It's come out of a reasonably cold cellar uh, and it may just be that an, an extra half an hour in the, in the open uh, will be uh, of massive benefit to it. So I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. It's good as it is. Uh, but I think that uh, in a couple of hours' time, I think it's going to be even better. But um, looking good on first appraisal. Uh, but let's just choke and then let's see whether we can say the same about wine number two. Uh, Abbots and Deloney, uh, Minervois Cumulo Nimbus, uh, 2011, so a year, early, uh, a year earlier, and uh, just says Syracanium, I'm not sure of the percentages, but just let's give it a whirl. I've just been trying to find the alcohol level, and 14% uh, on here compared with 13% on the previous one. Uh, and it is a bigger, richer, uh, fleshier, heartier style. Uh, it's got more of that uh, wild, uh, when Syrah goes uh, on that ripe, not too ripe style, uh, it reminds, there's bits of it that start to remind me of uh, things like Tourigue Nationale, um, and uh, maybe a little bit of Rioja, a little bit of the orange peel in there, a little bit of that uh, ginger, uh, the, um, it's got the bold berry, uh, not the, and it's the dark berries rather than some of the red berries I was getting in the, um, in, in the Crow's Hermitage, and it smells like it's going to be, yeah, fuller, fleshier style. Um, better or just different? Let's have a see. When you taste it, it's got some of those sort of aromatic characters flitting in and in and out of there. Maybe it's not so much the pepper that I was picking up on the crows, but um, uh, certainly some of the herby characters. And um, yeah, I, I, I mean, it's, uh, both of them are on that uh, that rich but dry style. So certainly not wines. Uh, they, they've not got that sweet finish that you find in uh, quite a lot of New World Syrah stroke Shirazes. Uh, here, there's a dryness that makes you think, I need some food. I need some protein with uh, uh, with these, but. I like both of these, and I, I, as I was saying about the previous one, uh, both this feels like uh, it's a wine that, um, on this cooler side, just out of a, a, a cool cellar, uh, it's probably got a little bit more opening up to do. Uh, and, but I like, I quite like it on, on this cool side because it's keeping those rich, rounded flavours. Uh, it's just uh, just making them not so big, not so expansive, um, and. Um, yeah, I, I mean, both of them, I, I really do like both of them. I probably prefer the, uh, the Abbots, uh, but it may be that in a couple of hours it'll be the other way around. But uh, I think I'm going to enjoy the exploration of this, this pair. Uh, they're looking pretty good now, but I think they're going to get even better. See you soon.